A troubling fire. Good evening, everyone. I'm Steve Hensley. It took several different fire departments to team up and put out the blaze at two Letcher County barns. One firefighter responding was hurt. More on that in a moment. But first, officials say around 200 bales of hay made for a tricky battle. They told WYMT's Lauren Osborne that colder temperatures may have played a role in the cause. She joins us now with more. Lauren. Steve, that's right. The fire that engulfed the barn this morning was tricky. Officials told me the barn was full of hay, making it very difficult to fight the flames. Those old hay fires are terrible. The fire chief of Letcher Fire and Rescue says it took a team effort to battle the flames. They said it started in one barn and quickly spread to another. The first one was completely engulfed with hay. And the second one had fed over and had started on the second and hit was full of hay. But we got it contained down to one barn. And after we got it contained to the first barn, uh, we got it pretty well knocked down. And then Multiple departments responded Friday morning struggling to extinguish the fire using more than 10,000 gallons of water. We've got to get the hay pushed out before we can get the fire down. They say about 200 bales of hay were in the barns. Officials say the fire started because the owner tried to put a heater inside the barn to keep his chickens warm during the cold weather. Officials also say the fire started just moments after the owner walked away. They said they had a woodworking shop in there. They had all kinds of uh, saddles and bridles and stuff for their horses. Mm. They say it's an extensive loss to them. Mm. We are told it is a major blow for the family. Crews were out several hours to smother the flames and let... No one was hurt at the scene of the fire, and firefighters say they finally put out the fire around 3 this afternoon. Steve? All right, Lauren, thank you. Meanwhile, crews were forced to fly out a fire.